Welcome, my friends, once again to the Mortgage Loan Officer Podcast. I'm your host, Frank Gray. We are brought to you by the Mortgage Marketing Animals. I've got a great show today. Uh, we're going to talk to a really good friend of mine, Casey O'Toole. He's a superstar. Yeah, big in the house. People can't control themselves, Casey. They're thrilled to have you here. So, uh, yeah, we're going to talk to Casey about MyLink Solution and uh, things he's got going on there and even more how it can integrate into your CRM, specifically uh, go high level. And so if you're a mortgage marketing animal, uh, the loan officer CRM is a go high level uh, CRM. So, yeah, you can fully integrate this into yours. But if you're not an animal, you don't have the loan officer CRM, uh, you, but you do have go high level or if you're thinking on getting a CRM. Uh, my link solution can integrate fully in. What are we talking about though? That's what we want to get into right now. Casey O'Toole from my link, link solution here. How you doing, Casey? Doing fantastic, man. Excited for this. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Let's. And so you and I have, have, uh, been friends and have done stuff together for quite some time now. It's been many years, many years. And I have, uh, used, uh, Casey's tools, uh, quite a bit in my business with great success. It has been wonderful and uh, it's very innovative, very cool. Um, and the fact now that it it connects to go high level where you can have workflows take over and my goodness, there's just so much. And there's a lot more on the horizon that we can't really talk about right now. But walk us through it, Casey. Uh, I, I'm a loan officer. That's who's listening to this. Uh, how could I take advantage of my, what does my link solution do? How can I take advantage of it? And then on its own. And then how can I take advantage of it if I do have a go high level uh, account as well? So just kind of walk us through this thing. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> well, so what you want me to explain is how can I help Morgan Marketing Animal listeners leverage KCO tools tools? There you go. That's, um, that, that's it. <laughs> so yeah, so, so um, I have been a real estate agent for the past seven or eight years. I work with a ton of, of mortgage loan officers myself. Um, and I mostly have a background in data science and like systems integration and kind of just technology, basically. Um, what I've built is a system that can help connect mortgage loan officers with their ideal customer profile or their ideal audience all via LinkedIn. And not just connect with them on LinkedIn, but then start conversations with them on LinkedIn. And now we can also zap or effectively bring over each of those contacts and bring them into your preferred CRM, whether it's uh, whether it's Go High Level, whether it's uh, Loan Officer CRM, whether it's Follow Up Boss, whatever CRM you're using, we can be bringing all of your LinkedIn connections and replies into your preferred CRM and start them on different workflows and just start building out your database, your sphere of influence, and just get things rolling. Yeah, it's and it, and it works beautifully, guys. I just want you to know I am uh, uh, using Casey's product. Uh, it, it definitely does exactly what he says. You pick your kind of your target audience. Like, what are you trying to do? First, you got to have your objective, right? Like, who am I going after and what's the point of it? Uh, then Casey's tool through my link solution will start conversations with those co targeted people and once the conversation gets started, it can move over into the CRM where a workflow can take over and the conversation can continue down the road. Very, very cool stuff. Some of the things, Casey, that you have seen other loan officers use my the MyLink solution for, like what are they, is it recruiting, is it buy, mortgages? What what are they kind of, what's kind of the, the few of the staples that mortgage guys use this product for? So I'd say the, the three big ones are recruiting additional loan officers to join your team. Um, the second one is to find more apps to get more buyers pre-qualified. And the third is to um, get referrals and become like a referral agent with other realtors. Mm, okay. Get uh, okay. What do you mean by that? That last one, become a referral agent. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm not sure if you remember, but one of your first campaigns with, with, uh, with us, Frank was um, we were, targeting real estate professionals in a certain market right and we were offering them to advertise their listings for free using listing rocket listing boom listing booster listing booster right which is now move tube so yeah. yeah so so think my things have not really changed have they case <laughs> <laughs> the only uh the only constant has changed that's right so, so yeah gotcha okay 
for that. It's like, you know, then you're so getting realtor partners. So yeah. So yeah. So, you know, as from a, from an originator standpoint, if you're branch manager trying to grow the branch, this is a wonderful tool for that. I mean, this is amazing for that. Um, if you're trying to um, get some buyers in your pocket, it's also a great tool for that. And then, of course, if you're just trying to get some realtor partners to get to know you, get to start doing business with them, set up some appointments, some Zoom calls so you can get to meet each other and kind of do. And if you happen to be a marketing animal, work the daily success plan with those agents after you've had your Zoom call to to develop a relationship, build business and and get business from them uh, work to, working together. Uh, so all good stuff. Um Give me an example, Casey. Uh, let's say you've got a, an originator who's thinking, oh, I'd like to see how it could actually get a loan for me. Um, what are some of the angles that you take? Like, how does it, how would, how would someone, who would we target on LinkedIn to think that there might be a possibility of getting a loan out of them? That seems just kind of like, it's not possible, but it is. So how do you do it? Yeah, so that's what I always recommend. Um, unless someone's like dead set on just realtor partners or dead set on just recruiting, mm -hmm. um, if they're kind of him and Han, I always recommend just get buyers because when you have a buyer, you're going to have to refer that out to an agent. And now you have a potential referral mm -hmm. partner mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So it kind of kills two birds with one stone. Mm -hmm. And how do you find them? There's some kind of creative ways these days. So there's, so we use um, the, the LinkedIn premium service called uh, Sales Navigator. Right. We use those filters to identify the target audience that we want to be reaching out to with whatever we're offering them, right? Um, so some recent filters that I absolutely love is recently changed jobs in the past 90 days. Ah, uh, okay. So you can find people who have recently changed jobs in the past 90 days. You can see... Um, if that new job is at the same company um, or if it's at a, a different company. Mm. And you can also see if that new job is headquartered in the same location or outside of that location. Mm. So in terms of finding buyers, like if you have a broad market, like let's say all of, all of California, so maybe you, you can write loans in, anywhere in California. Right. You can find people who recently changed jobs in the past 90 days, um, those they're currently residing in California, mm. but maybe their current company's headquarters is outside of California. So in those cases, they're going to be moving, um, maybe buying, maybe it'll be like a referral, mm. um, but you could also do the opposite, right? So if you want to find buyers trying to come into California, you could say recently changed jobs in effectively everywhere but california okay and the headquarters of that new job is, is in, california. in california so maybe they've moved to california that 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 kind of thing and there's other ways you do it too that's just one of the angles that you guys take um go ahead yeah i know there's a couple of other ways that you kind of target because you like to target i remember we were doing this you were targeting well let's go for people that have great jobs right and who make a lot of money because that's probably going to be a better buyer if they're looking to buy. So there's that angle as well. And then the other one, tell us a little about that and tell us a little bit about the other one, which was the firefighter police officer thing. And, and yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, um, yeah. so you can target based on affluence. So like senior level CEOs, founders, partners, owners mm. of large companies. Mm. Um, one I like that works well with loan officers because they usually have like a specific, like, like a doctor loan. Or some sort yeah. of like or a specific yeah. industry, you can target healthcare employees or doctors, and have like a very specific script that you want to send out to that particular audience. Mm. Um, hey, I see you're um, a, 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 an MD or a, met a doctor in the LA area. Um, have you seen this loan, which is exclusively for loan officers? I'm sorry, yeah, doctors, for yeah, physicians, yeah, yeah. yeah. That opens up a whole whole new world there's because there's so many different products that's out there and i could see how you could make use of this to really find those people and then and really what my link solution so tell us how it works what is, how does how does my link solution start the conversation where does it take them from there and how does it move it over to the over to the crm like what would it's let's say we are going for doctors i want to go for doctors because i got a great doctor alone 
you know, what does it do? Yep. So it's pretty simple. Um, our software syncs with your LinkedIn profile. Um, we'll then find your targeted audience. Um, doctors, we create a specific script for that audience. And then we'll start saying, Hey, Dr. Miller, um, I see you're a physician here in LA, um, would love to connect right now. The moment they connect, that's when we can grab their information and bring it into high level or whatever CRM people are using. Okay. So that's when the data becomes available. Okay. Now the follow-up messaging and the automation that takes over from there is pretty interesting because if they connect and they don't reply, then we send out follow-up messages that are longer in length. And that's and on, that's still on LinkedIn. Yep. Everything's, everything is within so, LinkedIn. So at LinkedIn, so we're still pinging them on LinkedIn. So we've connected, we've brought some information into the CRM. So I've created a contact in there. Now my CRM could kick in and start doing some things from there if I choose, right? But otherwise, if I do or don't, still with your product, with MyLink Solution, they connected, but they haven't responded. So MyLink Solution is going to go back again, right? And start trying to stir a conversation up with them. Absolutely. Yeah. And um, one thing that has been working extremely well for all of our clients, real estate, mortgage, really anyone, is the campaigns that what I call I call frictionless opt-ins. Um, and I like it because it takes the data or the contact information from LinkedIn. You offer that person something of value without like putting a landing page in front of them. Yeah, like click this link and fill out a form. No one likes that. Mm. No one likes it at all. It's a um, dopamine drain. So. Mm. Um, when you put a link in front of someone's face, they, by the way, dopamine drain is a great name for a band. Okay. I just had to get that out there. So whoever takes that and runs with it, you're welcome. So go ahead. Anyway, um, frictionless opt in, opt in. let's keep going. <laughs> frictionless opt-ins. Yeah. So I mean, you don't need for them to click a, a link or to fill out a form in order for you to have their email. So rather than asking them for, Hey, can I put you on my newsletter? What's your, what's your email? You just say, can I give you this piece of value? Can I mm -hmm. give you this, this housing market report? I have this mm -hmm. great market report that can provide you updates on housing inventory, price reductions, a market action index, mm -hmm. uh, best I've seen in years. Would you like me to send you the link? Mm -hmm. so then what we would do is we can like bring that information. We can analyze it, like the message for positive intent. So if they reply with yes, please, sure, yeah, okay. Then we'll um, bring them over to your CRM. And we'll start dripping on dripping emails with that information, which is usually dynamically updated every seven to 10 days, right? Yeah. Whether it's like an IDX with listings, whether it's um, weekly or biweekly interest rates changing, whether it's um, any sort of like link that is, it's a static link, but dynamic. Yeah, but the information changes every time I look at it. Yeah. Like yep. the Altos uh, stuff. Yeah. Altos, HomeBot, all that stuff. Yeah, all that stuff. Yeah. So then, so, and then the other beautiful thing is, like we said, is as soon as they connect, we're, we've created a contact in the CRM. I mean, it's there. And since it's using Navigator, most of the time, that includes name, phone number, and email. And so now you've got that in your CRM. You've got the connection that you've made, right? You can, now you can reach out to them and say, hey, we just connected on LinkedIn. Great to meet you. You know, and, and then whatever workflow you've put together for contact like that, you know, it, it gets it gets initiated. Casey, do you help do you help with workflows at all? Like, do you help in that regard? Like if I mean, someone this is why I like my link solution, guys. Listen to this. So, Casey, basically a loan guy comes to you, says, Casey, I'm interested in this thing. I want to go for doctors, whatever. Right. Policemen, whatever. OK. Uh, uh, in my area, you know, or in all of California, whatever the case may be, I want to go for that. And, uh, uh, I want you to go out and find him, get him to engage with me. I do have a go high level and I want you to bring him in. And then I would like your help with a workflow on how I can stay in touch with them, but hopefully get them to convert to an appointment for me. You can help with all of it basically. Yeah. I mean, it, everything's, everything's already pre-built. Um, we have a pre-built for real estate, pre-built for mortgage. Um, it's pretty basic. I would just, yeah, you know, create a snapshot, give it to you. Right. Snap over um, the information automatically into. Lose the API. 
whatever sub account yeah. or whatever account you want. Yeah. And uh, so that's what I was going to try and tell you guys is that one of the coolest things about working with Casey is, is that they pretty much do it all for you. So it's not like you're going to have to get in there and rack your brain and try and figure out a bunch of buttons and links and things like that. They pretty much take care of it all. And which is kind of nice. And then it's, it's gets up and running really quickly. Uh, anytime you and I have started a campaign, it's like, okay, so what's going to be and push the button. I, sw I swear, like 10 minutes after the button's pushed, you know, things are happening, you know, the stuff is coming in. So it's not like it has to go through some sort of weird learning curve and all this stuff. And you'll start seeing things in two or three weeks. No, you'll start seeing things. And, you know, within the hour, many times that might, it's been my experience. Um, it's yeah. been very quick. I, I tend to overcomplicate things in order to simplify them, right? Mm -hmm. Like I try and make things as simple as possible because once you systematize processes, then onboarding new clients is a lot easier for me and makes your life or you know, our client's life a lot easier as well. Right. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's not, I mean, I have things in place where I can get someone up and running within like 30, like 30 minutes. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's awesome stuff. Okay, good. So let's, let's, let's talk, uh, you know, down and dirty, down and dirty, Casey. Let's. So, if somebody wants to engage with you, first of all, the link, the the website that you'd want to go to is my linked, l i n k e d solution singular, right? dot com. So my linked solution dot com. That's where you want to go. If you happen to be listening to us on the Marketing Animals Loan Officer Podcast Network. You're obviously going to be on a landing page and we'll have the link right down below that you can click. No problem there. But if you happen to be listening to us on Spotify or iTunes or whatever the case may be, you're going to have to write this down. <laughs> Remember it. MyLinkedSolution.com is how you would reach out to Casey. Uh, be sure to let him know you, you heard about us, heard heard about uh, him here on uh, the Mortgage Loan Officer Podcast, just so he knows where, you, where you're coming from. Uh, there's no money involved in this or anything like that. Trust me, that's not a plug for me to get my $25. It's not anything like that. It's just, I'm sure Casey would like to know. Uh, and then what's, what's, what's the dollar amount for this, Casey, if you don't mind sharing, like what, what, what are they going to get into it for? How much? Yeah. So we basically have two different packages. Um, one is the complete integration done for you service where we integrate, um, our LinkedIn services in conjunction with your CRM. It com comes with our in-house virtual assistant to be able to um, manage some of the replies, tagging them correctly. Um, so that is like all in one is, is $9.97 a month. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then um, just the LinkedIn side of things, if you just want um, the LinkedIn um, automation stuff, that is $5.49 a okay. month. Okay, cool. Yeah, and then and then again, I uh, haven't figured out what discount I would want to give. But if you do mention that you come from Mortgage Marketing Animals, I can, or Mortgage Loan Officer Breakfast Club, or you could, and you could say Mortgage Marketing Animals Loan Officer Breakfast Club or the Mortgage Loan Officer Podcast. Any of that, he he gets it. I get it. <laughs> he gets um, it. Yeah, Frank. Like, say like, Frank. <laughs> same same station. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll throw out some some sort of discount. Okay. Something like that. There you go. Get a discount for, for, for dropping the name. Well, that's cool, man. Casey. And, and there's other stuff on the horizon that uh, we can't even get into it right now. It's, it's kind of top secret. And, uh, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll hold off on that for a minute, but good enough. Casey, thanks for, thanks for being here and telling us what's going on there. And again, guys, if you want to engage and check it out in more detail, go to my linked solution my linked l-i-n-k-e-d solution singular not solutions solution uh dot com my linked solution dot com and uh you can engage with casey there any other way they can they can find you facebook instagram you know tiktok uh everything uh everything but actually <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not on tiktok or instagram I, i'm just <laughs> Facebook and Facebook and, and LinkedIn. Yep. <laughs> Casey O'Toole. Casey O'Toole. You can't miss him. Uh, all right, Casey, thanks so much for being on the program, man. Super appreciate it. No problem, Frank. Happy to be here, man. Thank you. All right, you betcha. So for the rest of you guys, thanks for joining us once again here at the Mortgage Loan Officer Podcast, brought to you by the Mortgage Marketing Animals. Don't forget to check out Casey at mylinkedsolution.com. See what you got going on. Uh, you will not be sorry. Trust me. It's amazing and awesome. And of course, join us Monday through Friday. 
8.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. Eastern Time at the Loan Officer Breakfast Club. LoanOfficerBreakfastClub.com. It's absolutely free, 30-minute coaching for mortgage professionals. You'll love it. Be there. With that, we'll get out of here. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. 